All right, what is up, guys? It is 8.30 on, what day is it? Monday morning, and today is the day we fly out to Korea. I have a flight tonight at seven, not seven. I have to get there around seven. So the flight is at midnight tonight uh, to leave from Newark Airport to go into Korea. We are six days out from the Korea Pro, 212 debut for myself. Just cooking up some breakfast here. So last meal's at home, just got done with fasted cardio for the last time and got a little bump in uh, some carbs to start the day and then the food gets kind of lower for the flight as I expected. And we are pretty much all packed up. I have a full luggage just for supplements, food, and all that good stuff. I've got my lunchbox ready to go. Uh, wolf pack bag full of laptop and iPad stuff to entertain me for 15 hours. Nice book to read. And then got the carry on and we got the bag of clothes actually. So I have something to wear while I'm in Korea. And it's uh, it's been a good prep. So I'm really excited to get to Korea, get settled in. I'll have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to drop the water from the flight. So we'll have plenty of time to kind of get right. As you can see, Jess and Alina have been going hard with Christmas. So although it's only November, what is it today? November 6th, Alina flipped the switch and was ready to gear into Christmas mode. So we got a new Christmas tree up in the background and that's all Alina and Jess going to town on that Christmas tree to make sure I could be a part of it, put the star on. So we did things a little early this year with me flying out to Korea and it's been awesome to have a little Christmas spirit before I leave, but I'm gonna try and get most of today and to travel as much as I can. I'm gonna get to this meal, cream of rice up in here, get 80 grams of carbs of cream of rice, which is a nice bump for me. I don't really get that much lately. So it's been like four low days in a row, hit pretty low. I was like 192 this morning, so Dom was pretty happy, I think, with my check-in. He doesn't really give me too much feedback, but I think he was happy with my check-in. And uh, give me a little more food. I get eight meals today just because of the 15-hour flight. So I have to space out the eight meals through the flight. Um, and then I also get three gallons of water, which is to be spaced out through the flight as well. So I kind of have to eat strategically today and with the long flight, um, it kind of carries over, so I'm going to have to get that food ready at work half day today. So I still have to work a little. I have like two meetings I have to attend uh, virtually. And then once those two meetings are wrapped up, that's a wrap. Spend some time with wifey and Alina before hitting the airport. Pack up the last couple things I need. And then it's game time. Some travel. Once I get there, I'll feel good. Uh, once we're settled in and stuffed to the Airbnb. Uh, I have my buddy Seth coming with me who's also adopted from Korea, so this is his first time going over there. So it's going to be a really cool experience together to uh, go to Korea, both being adopted from there, experience the culture, and uh, just kind of take everything in. So that's been kind of the mantra of this prep since I don't have to focus on weight. It's really been more focused on trying to be as present as I can. Uh, we've been really busy, so just enjoying the things that we are busy with, although it's tough to do that all the time. I do remind myself daily to not take things for granted. Um, I've had a pretty stress-free prep as much as I can. Um, having a wife and a family has its own daily challenges, but they're supportive as ever, and uh, it's been awesome to kind of go through this one, not focused on the scale for a change and just focus on bringing the best package to Korea for the 212 debut. So stay tuned, guys. I will check in with you later. I got to get to this meal and get Alina off to school. So see you in a little. All right. The last walk of school for prep with Coco and Alina. It's funny. This, uh... This walk got longer and longer, I think, the closer we got. But it's one of those things that, like, the weather's been nice. So I'm been fortunate to get some extra steps in. 
and have a job that's flexible enough for me working from home and getting to just spend time with both of these girls every morning to start my day off. You'll miss me for the walks when I'm gone? Yeah, kind of. Kind of? Oh, okay. No, I'm going to miss you. Okay. Coco. So, this is my daily routine here. Take a lean at school with Coco. Walk back, eat breakfast, just cook breakfast. And then uh, watch out, there's a cat. Yeah. And I get... Here, hold her. Hold her. Work. Hold her. There's a cat. Yeah. Take your lunch button. Put this easy cat. We'll get the day started. Yeah. Love you guys. Hug, <laughs> You're making the whole fam's here. Stop. All right. <laughs> See you guys soon. Oh. I know I asked you in there, but, but before I pull out, just double check. Love you. you have your passport. Don't your cry. License. Love you. Love you, Lean. Love you. Love you. Love you. Just on top of the Head. Uh, Be good for mommy, okay? Okay. Love you, Infinity. Set this too tall for this car. Oh, okay. Uh, love you guys. Bye. Bye. Have a safe flight. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. See ya. See ya, Cokes. Off to Korea. Alright guys, so we got through TSA, stress free. I forgot a meal like an asshole. So I got a plain ass chicken salad with a hidden pile of guacamole over here that I can't eat, but it looks really good. Um, this guy gets to enjoy every piece and the dressing. How's the dressing? Is the dressing good? It's fine. <laughs> so we'll see how this tastes without the dressing, without the guac. But it looks good at least, so. And I'm glad I got the meal, so. We're still on point. We made it through TSA and now we I, didn't, I got yelled at. Yeah, Seth almost got yelled at. He already got kicked off the plane before he got He yelled on. at me for tying my shoe in the wrong area. <laughs> Apparently you're not supposed to tie your shoe after you get through TSA. <laughs> but other than that, we survived. And the Korean lady that was trying to talk to us in Korean. She was not she happy. She was pissed. angry at Seth too, because I said no, and then she looked at Seth, and he said no. He doesn't speak Korean, so she wasn't happy with us. Probably saw the writing on our heart. Yeah, and probably my flag on my book bag. Fake Koreans here, but other than that, we're doing well. And she was, uh, she was throwing out bars. She said, "We got." <laughs> she was throwing out bars. <laughs> Justin looked at her. He said, "No." <laughs> he brought up the arms. He said, "No." She she wasn't happy. She got a phone call. Luckily, that distracted her. And we kept on moving forward, so we'll get back to you. We have like three hours before we board the plane even, so it's gonna be a little. All right guys, your boy is not eating on the airplane, but your other boy is, and he's enjoying my food too. Seoul Airport and their trip over to Korea. We are in the taxi now on our way over to our Airbnb for the next uh, five days. It's going to be home for us. And we're just kind of taking in the sights here of Seoul. It's about like 30 40 minutes away from the hotel. So we had to get a big taxi because of all of our luggage. But no problems at the airport really. Customs was a little long, but we got all of our baggage and really didn't have any issues buying a taxi or anything. So now we just gotta get checked into the Airbnb, uh, take check-in pictures and wait over to coach. 
and then probably get the day started, see what he sends for the meals today, scope out a gym, start unpacking, and go explore some of Korea. So that's it guys, it's uh, 7.35 a.m. here. When we left, it's Wednesday morning. When we left Monday night pretty much, so it's kind of crazy waking up on Wednesday morning in Korea, but welcome to Korea. Check in once we get checked into the Airbnb, we'll show you around there and uh, show you our living space. Cribs edition in Korea. Alright guys, welcome to Korea. We are in our Korea Airbnb. So this is home for the next five days. Today is Wednesday. And we are officially four days out from the Korea Pro 212. We just flew in today. So Seth and I had a fun 15 hour plane ride from Newark Airport to Seoul Ichion Airport. And uh, we are finally just getting settled in. It's still 9.25 a.m. So the day is just starting here. Although our day has been going for quite a while now. So Seth made out pretty well on the plane because I couldn't eat anything. He got double meals. Well, I got to watch him enjoy my bulgogi and spicy pork meal. Justin gave me so much food. The scale read 200 plus when I stepped on. <laughs> we put him on a quick bulk on the way over here. Put some LBs on him. Um, so I checked in with Dom first thing when we got here, I'm still unpacking a little, so it's kind of a mess, but I needed to get meal one in. So he was happy with how we looked. Um, didn't really hold much water. He was like compression pants, compression socks, vaso dry were some of the tricks that we used and it seemed to pan out pretty well. Um, so this is meal one today. Today is just kind of, uh, starting the process and going through it. So I get 15 grams of almond butter, five ounces of chicken, and then we have about 80 grams of carbs coming from this amazing Tupperware bowl of cream of rice. Their bowls are a little small here in Korea, so <laughs> we had to use some Tupperware to make it. Um, but yeah, today's going to be, he has me trying to keep my step count under 5,000, which I'm already at 2,000. It's 930, so that's going to be a challenge. Um, workout's going to be at like 50% today and then tomorrow really starts the dry out process. Um, today I still get two gallons of water, so I'm going to enjoy my water while I still have it because I'm assuming it's going to probably drop off the next three days and, uh, we will officially start drying out and just tightening up as the day goes on and just, uh, fill in. So it's going to be like a dry out plus fill out phase that we're going to go into. So I'm really excited about that. That usually means more food. Um, cardio is cut officially from prep. So that was music to my ears. I'm done officially with cardio. Um, yeah, today's shoulders. So me and Seth are going to do a shoulder workout. Have to find a gym yet. And we have to find water yet because I can't see <laughs> that today. So that's going to be the task after this meal goes down. We're going to probably run over to 7-Eleven or something to get... Yeah, we got to see the 7-Eleven that he's craving. I don't even about. have any condiments. I need mustard or something. So that's going to be the uh, second part of the day is find a grocery store slash convenient mart, find some stuff for the house, and then uh, part two is going to be a gym. So going to eat this meal. This is amazing. Um, Mega Fit meals. I froze them on the way over. They lasted in my bag. Worked out perfectly. Good thing about MegaFit, you can just throw it in a microwave and it still tastes amazing because their quality chicken is like restaurant. So I have that. And then I have uh, beef too, actually. So I have beef that's already ready to go and I have chicken that's ready to go. Um, so it makes obviously prep a little easier here coming to Korea with some food made. And then really the only thing I need to get yet is some rice, which being in Korea, I don't think should be too hard to find rice. So we'll find some plain white rice and we'll be set then. So we'll try and take you to 7-Eleven with it. I'm excited to show Seth 7-Eleven. So he has high expectations. Hopefully he doesn't let us down. Yeah, very high. <laughs> so we'll catch you at 7-Eleven next. Until then, I'm going to enjoy this five ounces of chicken. I'm kind of 
salivating over the almond butter I just added to that. So I'm very excited about that. 15 grams of almond butter in there. It's going to be like a dessert. So we are in 7-Eleven in Korea. A lot different than the states here, guys. So you can get meals here that actually are edible and that taste really good. They're of good quality. Justin has pointed out five I items on each items on the shelf and he said everyone tastes so, good. These are little rice triangles that Seth is going to try. Beef red chili paste. They have a bulgogi. It's like sushi pretty much. Um, just with like Korean beef in it and stuff. Um, we got the chicken breast right here. Ready to go. Oh, that's what you were talking about? The yeah, chicken breast? I lived off that when I was here. We got the eggs. They're ready to eat. Oh, shit. And then they got the bowls and like these things too even this one doesn't have as much as normal like this one is a bit smaller and the burgers are good too these burgers bulgogi cheese oh you gotta get that <laughs> <laughs> gotta get everything so it's gonna be 220 by the time it leaves here so yeah they have all these little kebabs really good um these protein shakes are really good the coffee one Yo, I'm definitely getting that Hershey's thing right there. You see that? You see that? You see that Hershey's thing? I'm definitely getting the protein. Eight grams of protein. I give a shit about the protein. It tastes good. And the cost of the stuff is like... It's only 1,200 won? Yeah, I will. Like, I'm going to be buying like four of those. So, yeah, Justin's right. I'll probably be 230 after this. Yeah. So we're going to my open debut. I can't get much, but Seth's, I'm going to make Seth get everything I can eat right now. And you'll see what I do after the show. For now, we're gonna feed Seth up, <laughs> get him nice and plump, and get this boy eating good. So, but that 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven has soju as well. That's uh, that's something Korean, but it's like their wine. It's like a mixture between wine and like flavored vodka. Best of both worlds. Tastes really good. And it's real it cheap comes, over here. Comes out to like a dollar. So I mean, you get a water and a soju for like two dollars. Insane. 7-Elevens aren't built the same over here in Korea, guys. I'm telling you. This is a smaller one, too. We're going to get you to a bigger one. I have everything I like to show you. It's a good start. Justin's just reassuring that because start. I wasn't blown away when we first walked in here. It's yeah. like better things to come. Yeah, it's a good start, though. All right, meal two, guys. It is 11.30 almost here in Korea. We get six ounces of some mega fit fresh chicken. Delicious. Six ounces there. And freshly made in your local town of Korea, wherever we are, by uh, my great auntie, who wasn't really understanding me too well. Luckily, we had someone who spoke English there. Justin had to jump through loops to get this rice. This better be the best rice he ever had. She's trying to feed me a lot more than just this rice, so. Got this rice for 2,000 won, which comes out to like a dollar and 50 cents, I think. So I'm gonna heat this up. The rice is still hot, actually. So I get 180 grams of rice and then 10 grams of almond butter, which is not much. <laughs> so that is gonna be meal two. Next meal is gonna be pre-workout, which is pretty similar. You'll see that one, but that one's six ounces of chicken 180 grams of rice again. That one just, I get coconut oil instead. But definitely a language barrier challenge here. We're like in the village of like Korea here. This is like authentic Korea. First time I came, I was more in the city where Kin Tech Center is across the street, but this is like authentic Korea. I don't speak any English. Um, <clears throat> that lady thought Justin was crazy. She said, rice? Just rice? A lot of, a lot of sure? sign language, a lot of Papago. Papago doesn't even help me out sometimes because it doesn't even understand me, I don't think. But we're making do. We're getting what we need. And I don't have to cook rice, so it's even better. That's my No, nah, that, that lady had a, at least a 100-kilogram pot of rice. <laughs> she was crazy. So we'll be back there. This is going to be a normal spot for me. I'm sure I'll be carving up on rice a lot. So hopefully if I just take this container back, she'll know what I'm coming for and uh, pay her her dollar fifty, and she's a loyal customer for the next five days. So stay tuned, guys. It's me all two. 
another exciting meal with yours truly. We got meal number three going down. This one's going to be the pre-workout meal. Switched up the plate for you guys. Yeah, where the fuck you find that? <laughs> I don't know. It just made me happy when I saw it. I like the colors. They look better than the white plate. So I feel like display helps me enjoy the food more. So this one is six ounces of Mega Fit chicken. Um, I can't tell you my code, but if you want to DM me or comment below, I could give you my code to save on your orders. And then we get 180 grams of my Korean auntie's white rice from next door at a restaurant. And to top it off, I get a whole... Wait, that's 48 grams hold on let's hear this puppy out so this is how i measure mine it usually doesn't tweak out like that all right there we go that's nine was that just pure coconut oil just pure extra virgin coconut oil from the united states because i didn't know if i'd be able to find this here in korea i used to put that shit in my hair I should have extra if you need some for your hair there. So. Uh, we're almost there. I put that shit in my hair, it gives me curl. 14. Every gram counts. 14. There you go, 15. Damn, so we're, so we're about to work out at... So what? We're approaching 12 o'clock at home. We're approaching 12 o'clock at home, but Midnight. really it's like 1.47 here. p.m. here. Yeah, so it's like we're about to hit shoulders so, at fucking one in the morning at home. Yeah, I just talked to wifey and Alina. They're going to bed. Um, but yeah, we slept on the plane, dude. You should be fine. We're good. We'll get back on schedule tomorrow then. He keeps saying we. I know you heard that kid screaming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was right in front of me. He smoked like shit randomly. And I like, put two and two together. I'm like, yeah, the people next to me. They're gassy. And then when I heard the kid cry, I was like, oh, that's what it is. That's the shit I smell. It's literally shit. It's not farts. It's shit. Oh, my God. That motherfucker cried at least five times during that. Yeah, that was rough. That and the lady behind me. I don't know if you saw them get up at all, but the people behind me, when they got up, they were the ones that, like, grab onto your seat to get up. So, like, I'd be sleeping, and next thing you know, I'd be like, <laughs> Like, jerking back i'm like what are you doing like who grabs the seat in front of you to get up like oh that got me too yeah, it's the last time i sleep on that plane the the fucking the flight attendant ran over my foot with the fucking food oh. cart <laughs> they were in their defense they were trying to like move your foot they were trying to like wake you up you weren't you yeah, weren't no, moving though i, no, I was not i was like he's good i was like just run it over I was like, he won't. I felt that shit. Like, oh, what the fuck? I went right back to sleep. I was like, it'll be okay. Yeah, you we'll could see. just run it. But, I mean, it wasn't bad, dude. You didn't have anyone sitting next to you. Don't feel that bad for this guy. Nobody yeah, was really next did. to him. I was sprawled out. So he was comfy. And then I get some salt on this puppy, too. So salt is getting pulled back a little bit. Normally, pre-workout meal, I get three-fourth tablespoons of salt. Whereas now... Pre-workout meal, it's only one-fourth. My shot glass of salt that I made over here. So, I brought my measuring spoon. That's how I measure my salt. And salt is amazing at this point. I'm taking some of that for pre-workout. I love salt. Makes everything taste better. I never used to like salt that much until, like, prep it. And then until Justin wanted flavor in his food. Then he said, salt. yeah, we should probably add some salt. Salt's everything. So this doesn't look like much, but this is probably one of my favorite meals to eat. Um, I don't even like coconut, oddly enough, but for some reason the coconut oil with rice and chicken just kicks. It's one of my favorite things to eat right now. Like After the show, I feel like I could just eat a bowl of white rice with coconut oil, some salt, and I do like liquid aminos usually. I'll put like coconut aminos on this to really kick it up a notch. But we're going to try and check out the grocery store to see if we can find some cool condiments after the workout. But first, we got shoulder workout today. Dom wants me to train at like 50%. So 
said give it to like 45 minutes wants me to pose just so I could kind of show him how I'm looking how I'm feeling how the pump is and then he has me eating meal four which is like a red meat meal and some rice and then I'm sending him pictures like an hour and a half after that to show him how I look to figure out what meal five and meal six is so at four days out things get kind of crucial it's a lot of check-ins it's a lot of weight um, to hear what I'm eating next so it's crucial to have your food ready and kind of have access to the food you're gonna be eating it makes things a lot easier and that's really what tells the difference I think of a good coach versus like a subpar coach um, you have coaches who just write out your plan for peak week where your body changes so fast and so often it's important to have a coach that's going to be on you and taking a look at you very often because your body changes that quickly and I knew what to expect with Dom so I knew we'd be great I knew we'd be a good team so very happy with my decision to team up with Dom this year and uh we just kind of click and his method seemed to fit my body really well so definitely someone I'm going to continue to work with after this show um but I'm excited I'm really excited to kind of show what we're bringing to Korea here should be pretty good so I don't know if we're going to get stuff at the gym or not I guess we'll see how cool the gym is Kind of going into a blind. I found it on the maps app. But it looked pretty cool. So I'm going to check you out after this meal. Alright, guys, two tries, two different gyms. First one we wanted to go to was a little abandoned and close down. So this one was like three blocks away. I was supposed to keep my step count under 5,000 so that didn't work out with the little walk we just had. But luckily, we found this place called Body Masters. It's nothing special, but it's a really, really clean, like, personal training studio. And they have everything I needed for today's workout. They have some cable stuff. They have some plate-loaded stuff. They have some dumbbells. Cleanest gym I've ever probably been in in my life. Like, you probably lick the floors here and it's like, be pretty clean. So we got a shoulder workout and uh, luckily we had someone who spoke English here again because nobody speaks English too well in this area. Uh, but we got a day pass. We'll uh, run through shoulders here, get a pop, get some pictures, send a coach, see what he thinks. And uh, this is probably the second to last workout. So we're taking these single arm. I feel like I could isolate it better, so single arm, reverse belt,
problems playing or what, but everything hurts. Extra today. Is it a sh shit hurt? Everything hurts extra. I don't know if it's a plane or what. Feel stiff. The extra stiff. No, my. shoulder machines. I look decent bad lighting, I look good in good lighting. All right, we just got back from a quick little shoulder workout, which I probably didn't need an Uber for that we got an Uber for. It was probably two blocks away. 300 meters. 300 meters, exactly, according to Seth. Um, again, language barrier. He didn't want to drive us there. I was a little confused, but once he drove me there, I understood why he was questioning my call for the Uber. But it's all right. We saved some steps. And now I get to enjoy this lovely meal I just made. Got the Korean auntie Korean rice here, uh, 180 grams. We got Mega Fit 
uh, ground beef. I believe it is 93.7 ground beef and it's seasoned to perfection. It has some flavoring in there. And then I did my one fourth teaspoon of salt on top. And then with my higher carb meals, like pretty much all my meals lately, I'm doing one Matador, which is a glucose disposal agent. So it helps kind of shuttle, shuttle your carbs, help them be more useful and get the most out of them. I got some digestive enzymes here. I'm out of ravenous right now. I did not get it in. And then we got glutamine. The main reason for glutamine is for stomach health and gut health. It helps with the lining of your stomach. And so all three of these combined kind of take care of everything you got your glucose disposal agent, you got your digestive enzymes here to help break down the foods, and then you got your glutamine to help with stomach gut lining. So, got the free willy water here in Korea, has an 8.0 pH. It's a half gallon. My hands didn't shrink over here in Korea. It's just a ginormous water bottle. So this is one of my favorite meals. I don't really get much red meat. So <clears throat> towards the end of peak week, I feel like it slowly becomes a little higher. I think most coaches like to add in some fats because it does slow down some of the carbohydrates. Um, so I get to enjoy it too. Mm. Mega fit. I promise you all their, all their meats, a la carte. They are on point. Check them out and check out Project AB, guys. Any other products, any of your orders, Justin15, save you 15% off and also support your boy here. So check out their products as well. The MegaFit. Once you start eating MegaFit, you're never going to cook again, I promise. I gotta take pictures in an hour and a half, send those over to Dom, and then he's gonna let me know what meal five and meal six look like. I don't know what he's gonna say because I just sent pictures to him from the gym and the gym lighting. It's pretty depressing. So hopefully he likes them better than I did. I felt like a bucket of shit after I looked at my pictures I took in the gym. So they didn't want me posing on the gym floor. So we had to go into this little stingy ass locker room where lighting was not my favorite whatsoever but if you look half decent in bad lighting that means you're gonna look that much better in good lighting so that's my thought process we'll see if that's true <laughs>